up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is my review of the Wicked Cool Toys Pokemon My Partner Pikachu. This is a moving and a grooving Pikachu. He lights up. He does all that fun stuff. Um, but this is a pretty small Pikachu, and it's going to run you 20 bucks. So, um, you got to decide whether or not you like that. I'm going to give you a couple of size comparisons. We're going to do an all-in-one review here. Here is both the uh, Bandai Model Kit Pikachu, which I'm trying to stand up right now. No, actually, that was this is the Bandai Model Kit Pikachu, uh, and this is the SHF Pikachu. So you can see how they all size up here. Pretty much on the same scale, you know, and they all work well and... So, they all <laughs> work well together. They all kind of, you know, my wife was saying, oh, they look kind of the same. And yeah, there's only so many ways to do a Pikachu. This does it right, I think. It's pretty good. The proportions are very nice, actually. I, I think Wicked Cool Toys has done well with their Pikachus, for sure. Uh, in the back, you got some screw holes. That's not the best. The tail looks pretty good, the, the brown there. It is attached to the body, um, so do be careful there. You got the sound holes back there in the front. And boy, my camera is not going to like this guy. Can we go back here? Oh. Crazy how that works. Um, I gotta figure out. There must be something going on on the camera that's automatically changing colors. Um, yeah. Anywho, eyes look good, cheeks look good. The tongue has a little bit of a uh, slit in it. I think we did that here, but the rest is okay. It's it's fine. It's Pikachu. The black there looks fine. Again, we saw the brown. So it's totally a fine. Pikachu, uh, for sure, you know, like, oh, this is a better idea. Why didn't I have that idea before? Zoom in. <laughs> it's kind of glossy. That's just not my camera. It is a little bit of a, has a little bit of a gloss to it. Um, so there's that. You see the on-off switch, and I'm just going to get right into it. We did our comparisons. There's no articulation. We looked at the figure. The, the ears look good. And the main thing about this is the gimmick, so... You turn it on <laughs> and uh, it moves uh, so this is touch sensitive though I gotta say that this one I feel like I don't know if it's just my copy it's not like the super is to it's, you know oh okay so I, I can't recall how many sounds that it makes oh that's the tail supposed to light up but it's really you get it at the base of the tail Oh, cheeks are lighting up there. So the belly <laughs> lights up, and then uh, you could touch the nose. I hear the... Oh, there it is. There's that gimmick. So it does that gimmick. Now, I think the whole tail is supposed to light up, and it is kind of clear, but it's not... Let's shut down some lights. It's not resonating to me that, like, it's coming out of there too much. I don't think it goes really through. Maybe it's just supposed to light up through there. So if you do his head... Oh. Yeah, really, really blushing there. You can see the whole body lighting up. Slippery little sucker. I'm not getting it to do, like, too many different things, honestly. So, <laughs> whether or not it's supposed to do a ton, it moves its arms, it moves its ears. I'm get, I'm, it's like doing the same things over and over for me. So, I don't know. I don't see any other, like, mode here. It's just on and off. Like, there's no in-between. Pika Pika! It's cute. 
Okay. That was a little different, see? Uh, pika, pika. <laughs> well, you guys get the, the idea. It's cute. Uh, it lights up. It does its little strikes and stuff. Um, but I don't know how much playability it really has, you know, like... Ultra Zelda Jr. seems to like it, uh, but he is out right now, so can't give you his opinion completely. But it's fun enough. I'll say it's fun enough. How about that? Not $20 worth, though, because I I'm really getting it only to do a handful of noises, and it's still small. It's still... The model kit was 5 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that has a lot of articulation and stuff. Um, the SHF, which has, you know, technically m supposed to have, like, more articulation. I don't know if it does. Um, was more expensive than that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Now, that, I'm kind of saying I don't know because this one lights up. Oh, yeah, that was just me hit. Like, it does light up and it does have sound, so... It's tough, especially when you put it up against an H SHF. <laughs> He's just going on. SHF here. So, I don't know. You're going to have to make that decision if you want this Pikachu. Um, I bought it because we needed to get free shipping on our Target order. And uh, Ultra Zilla Jr. likes Pikachu. So it was, And I never saw it before. I had, I had not seen it in store yet. We did see it once since I got it yesterday. So, um, yeah. It's out there now. If you need yourself a... Talking Pikachu. There you go. That's my final thoughts, guys. Uh, that's, that's it. Uh, and that's Pikachu's final thoughts. Um, just by my booming voice, it's going. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me... It's okay. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I think little, little kids will really dig it. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.